I'm going to show you how to create walking animations using PowerPoint without buying expensive software. And it's pretty easy to do. If I can do it, I know you guys can. So the only thing you have to do is open up PowerPoint. And once you get into PowerPoint, just go to layout and put in a blank display. Once you do that, you go to insert and insert your photo. And you can get your snipping tool. You can find these walking animation frames on Google. You just got to Google it. Just put walking animations. And it'll give you different frames for walking. As you see, I'm just going to insert pictures and putting the frames. I named the one, two, three, four to keep them in order. See, I slide it over and it has the other one. So I'm going to make them transparent. So the only thing you got to do is format. Go to background and remove the background. Hit keep and you do each one of them like that. As you can see, I'm going to remove background and I'm sizing it, making sure everything fits in the frame. And I hit keep changes. And you could do this to all, make sure you do this to all four of the, the photos you got or images. Okay, once you do this, I'm gonna just slide it over and you can see how it's transparent. And this way you can line up everything correctly. So once you do this, you wanna go to annotations and on each picture, you wanna add, make it appear, and then you want it to disappear. And do this to all four of the photos or images. And you see, I got on my animation pane so you can see the process. As you can see, in the highlight one, I hit shift and I highlighted them all. And I'm gonna go in where it says on click, I'm gonna change at the previous. And all the ones that say disappear, you could hit your control and click. I'm gonna change those to 0.25. Once I do all of this, I'm going to just line them up. Take photo one, make sure you put them in order. Photo two. And my mouse speed is real fast, so I may have a little trouble lining them up. Once you do that, I'm going to show you a display as you can see it walking. So what I want to do is highlight this. And I'm going to hit control C for copy, then control V and paste. So I'm going to do these images and I'm going to move them over. And I'm going to do this a few times. I'm going to hit control V again. And I'm going to do it again. Control V. And I'm pasting these images and I'm lining them up to walk across the, the page. And you probably guys can probably do a better job lining them up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to highlight all of these. As you can see, I missed a few. Oh, I missed the first. So I'm going to try this one more time. Let me see if I can get it all in one screen. So let's slide this over. I think I got it this time. The reason I did that, I'm going to click and move these all at one time in what position I want. As you see, it's a little slanted downhill, but that's okay. And I'm going to play it and show you what it looks like. This is a display of what it looks like walking across. So now I want to go to insert picture. And I'm going to insert this house right here. So you can size it to the size you want. And you notice I'm going to click on this and go to format. 
and I'm going to set this image in the back. So now I'm going to display this for you and show you what it looks like. I'm going to go down here to the bottom and hit display. And that's all to it. If I can do it, you can do it. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.